Justiceville operated in violation of county sanitation laws. There was no hot or cold running water, and the open fires used for cooking violated safety codes. The owner of the site, although sympathetic, responded to pressures from city government and told the people that they would have to leave. So packing what little they possessed, they were forced to abandon their homes. So we're going to make our stand tomorrow. Those of you who are going to make the stand with us to be arrested, please do not give any gestures to the police. Please do not, I mean, nasty gestures, you know what I mean? We don't need that. This is peaceful. The police are not hostile towards us. They're understanding, many of them are, and they just got a job to do. They didn't create this problem. The people who have been paid by the taxpayers to uh, get rid of skid rows and homelessness, there is where the problem lies. To everybody that's participating in Justice Bill, all the help from the outside community, um, I want to thank all the brothers and sisters who fought and who live here, who made this thing happen. Going through our changes, we fought, we argued, we had our problems, but I think we might have made it. What do you think? Yeah, we won. Yeah. 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 Man, there's no joke about it. Just, I, I really hate leaving here because there's a whole lot of people that are my friends. Stuck, stuck by me when times were bad. Helped me pull through a lot of situations, you know. It, it's a place where a lot of people come to that needed help, a place to stay until they can get on their feet. You know, now that it's going down, it's going to be a whole new turnaround. A lot of people going back to the streets, doing a whole lot of things that shouldn't be done in order to stay alive and keep a roof over their head, over themselves' heads. It hurts, because I have pulses, I have lost weight, I have a headache, but I do have one thing. We still have Justice. Well, the people grew strong as the end grew near. We had a brand new start with the neighbors here. We had privacy and a sense of hope. No standing in line, no crime, no, no dope. dope. Justice Bill makes a point to meet all the county codes to keep the city neat. But when the bag boom goes, it comes around the bend. Take a giant step back, this home to them. Justice. 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 Our, our number one responsibility is public health of the community. When we say public, we say in the, prod uh, the broadest uh, sense. That's what public health is. But we also have a concern with the individual person. And, it's, uh, and again, in the terms of uh, Justice Bill, especially, in the, there was real hazard there for those people if that allowed it to continue. Now, that doesn't say that there's not a hazard for those people if they go back on the streets. No. We just um talked about it. We still got some things to pack, but most of our stuff's packed. Most of the clothes, most of mine, yeah. most of hers. You pack them all? We're going to go through the rest of it today and sort it out what she wants and what she don't want. Like odds and ends, she wants like clothes, yeah, we're knick about half packed. We're about halfway. It's going to be stored just in case they do haul us in. At least we'll have our clothes when we get out. Yeah. When they come in, you are subject to arrest. Yeah. Did you move back, please?
have uh, made uh, 12 arrests for trespassing. Uh, the owner of this property uh, appeared here this morning and gave them an order to leave the premises after it had been posted yesterday for trespassing. So uh, there were 12 people who refused to leave and they were arrested for trespassing. Well, you know, they're taking our homes, they're taking people's pride, they're taking all they have left for some. You know, up here, some people are mentally strong, but some people just can make them, you know, just, just go off, you know, you know. You know, so it's cool. And I think instead of taking from us, help us. Tell, tell them what they need. And, you know, and if, if, if anybody got a heart or got eyes, you can see. And you can see what people need. Help them. Don't take it from them. You know, know what I'm saying? Your hands are big. Your hands are big. To me, Bobby. What are you guys going to do about tearing down all the house? No, 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 no. no. We're not doing anything. We're all doing it. Yeah. Don't worry. We're done. We're done. Oh, you're done? done. <laughs> the people were frightened and confused. Those who were not jailed reluctantly returned to the street. Supporters struggled to arrange bail for those who had been arrested. So a few days later, the former residents of Justice oh, Hill reunited, stepping slowly through the rubble that had been their home. They salvaged what fragments of their community that remained. The community and its spirit, which symbolized so much hope, seemed lost. We shall not be. Well, that's here, right over here. Right here where you all these, you could pile that. Now it's nothing. You know, these people came in here a little while back and just tore down everything. You know, it, that puts everybody on the streets now. But we try to take care of our, of our serving community. We try to put them in hotels and stuff like that. But the rest of them, who knows? I don't know where they at. They out here somewhere. And once Justice Bill rise again, maybe we can do something for them if they come around.